So let's talk about inner join in pandas. It's the intersection of two data frames and the resultant is also a data frame. So here we have imported the pandas package and uh, the alias is pd. Um, in the data frame 1 we have taken the data set as car model data set. In the data frame 2 we have taken the car theft data set. Uh, now let's call the function dot head to see the first five rows. Um, so that's that's the rows in the data frame one. That's the first five gives a bit of clear idea about you know what kind of columns we have, what kind of data we have under those columns. Uh, so in the data frame two dot head, um, so there was a mistake. So now let's take the data in the data frame two, um, and let's call the function dot head. So as you can see in the data frame 2 we have uh, those rows. Now let's um, do the inner join on the data frame 1 and data frame 2. So I'm merging data frame 2 to data frame uh, 1 on the id column. And now let's display the merged. So if we look at the first 5 rows we can actually see um, that it has been uh, merged. So this ID is column to both the data frames, which is there under the merged data frame. Uh, now let's check uh, how we can actually have the um, uh, tailored suffixes. So you can see here model or uh, make model of uh, underscore X make model underscore Y. So we can actually customize those uh, suffixes. Um, it's because that's the column name which is available in both the data frames so um, that's the python's way to actually handle that so we're going to here put the um, suffixes equal to and then we're going to specify our suffixes so yeah i'm putting here table one and table two uh, so it kind of tells you from which table actually uh, those kind of columns are coming and now let's just play it so as you can see, now it's displayed as make model table one, uh, make model table two. Check the shape of our data frames. Let's, so in the data frame one, we have 48 rows and four columns. Now let's check for data frame two. And it also has 48 rows and 4 columns. Let's check for the merged one. And it has 48 rows and 7 columns. 